Leah Shuaibu gives birth, that's her second baby, in Boko Haram captivity. Leah Shuaibu, her name is Leah, L-E-A-H, if I'm not mistaken. Her surname is Shuaibu, I think, S-H-U-A-I-B-I, -I, or Sharibu as the case may be. Just Google Leah Shuaibu. She's a Christian girl from the same middle belt. I want you to follow what I'm saying this evening very sequentially and methodically. If you don't have a pen and paper, you shouldn't be listening. I'm telling you, if you don't have a pen and paper this evening, I, I'm telling you the truth. You should not be listening. My contention is that as you're Googling this very name, Leah Shwebu gives birth to the, her second baby in, cap, in Boko Haram captivity. I want you to have this thing at the back of your mind. That's Nigerians, wherever they are, they're like Leah Shwebu. Who is Leah Shwebu? She is a Christian girl from the Middle Belt. By Middle Belt, I mean where Go One comes from. The man that rejected restructuring, the man that could have preempted everything now happening in Nigeria. That idiot, the, uh, 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 to call him an idiot is to insult the animal called idiot, because he's lower than that very idiot. His name is Yakubu Goran. He was the one that went to Aburi to go and negotiate a new Nigeria, so to speak, in 1967. He went to that very place. Britain asked him not to agree to the terms that he had previously agreed in front of Ankara, who was then the Ghanaian head of state. He agreed as a gentleman. They call him an officer and a gentleman. But that idiot, idiotically, came back to Nigeria and reneged on all the agreements he reached with Ujuku Ataburi. And that is symptomatic of what is happening in Nigeria today. And I want people to pay very close attention to what I have to say. Lua, Leah Shwaibu was abducted from her state, Yube State, Dapchi. According to, of course, everyone knows that. There is this people because the reason why you hear about her is because a lot of white people in America have taken up her cause. And I think that Reno and Mokri and all the rest of them have been fighting to put her name out there in the limelight so that the world can understand what is happening. They call her a heroine Christian. People must pay attention. A lot of people will be very angry this evening after this very podcast. But as you well, you know me very well. I don't give a, I don't give a damn. She's a Christian. The Pope has not called for her release consistently. The Archbishop of Canterbury, these are all Christian, frontline Christian leaders all over the world. None of them have consistently called for the release of Leah Schweiber because she is a Christian. And the lives of Christians do not matter. Only the lives of Muslims. Only Muslims matter. Because can you imagine, I want people to please ponder this for a second. Can you imagine that say a militant group or a group identified, let's say um, a group from the South, for instance. Imagine that a group operating in the South went to a school or went to one Gariki market somewhere and abducted a Muslim virgin girl who is Fulani, took her to a camp, let's say in Olo, let's use Olo for example, and took her to a camp in Olo. held her hostage, continuously raping her until she fell pregnant. Mind you, she was a virgin. She gave birth in captivity to the first child, and now she has given birth to another child in captivity. I want you to ponder for a second. You took a Fulani girl to a forest, in to the bushes in, in Olu. Not that they don't know where this girl is. They, all of them, they know. The Flani Janja with them. They took her into a forest and they're raping this Fulani girl there every blessed day until she fell pregnant. What do you think will happen to Olo? It's just a very simple question. 
Because I want to bring home to people why I why I hate Nigeria with but I despise the zoo and any idiot that calls himself a Nigerian. This evening, I want to prove that your average Nigerian is the most idiotic, is the most useless thing ever to walk the face of the earth. What do you think will happen to all full and girl? What do you think BBC will do? What do you think the US ambassador will do, or even the British High Commission? They will say that the entire Igbo land will be leveled. They will bump everybody to smithereens. Or should I say to the kingdom come? Are you following me? Imagine a Fulani virgin girl, a Muslim, being held hostage in Omoaya, a forest somewhere in Omoaya. What do you think will happen to Omoaya? What do you think Muslims will do all over the world? They will start slaughtering anybody who is not a Muslim. If in fact, if you're Biaf and if you're from southern Nigeria, they will slaughter you wherever you are in the world. Now, this is why I hate Nigeria. People wonder why. I have my reasons. Because Nigerians are the most foolish, idiotic people in the world, useless to the core. They thrive on gossip, on stupidity and silliness. They have no class, they have no shame, they have no grace. Nigeria is the most useless thing that man ever made. Do you know why this girl was taken? I, it is called, I don't know, it is called comeuppance. She was taken from a region that the person responsible for the mess that Nigeria is in today, which is Yakubu Gowan. He's from the Middle Belt. This young lady, I believe, is also from the Middle Belt. You have idiots on social media writing about Middle Belt. The Middle Belt is really about that. A Middle Belt Christian in a country called Nigeria has been held hostage now for nearly three years. She was a virgin, a little girl. They raped her to the point whereby she fell pregnant. I don't want to talk about the girls that they raped and they had to cut out her womb only last week in Lagos. Nigerian army. I want people to understand, when you're talking about one Nigeria, listen, I want you to understand that you are an instrument of Lucifer. Satan, open soon, Satan is using you to perpetrate and to perpetuate evil. Only, only somebody from the bowels of darkness can ever say that Nigeria is viable. Only if you're working directly for Satan. And that Satan will destroy all of you. Because you people are evil. Evil beyond human comprehension and contemplation, I'm telling you the truth. You people are beyond evil. Every idiot, it doesn't matter your political coloration. Every animal in the zoo, it doesn't matter how you, you think acceptable, you think people uh, will see you, view you, or take you. As long as you wake up in the morning and you say, I'm a Nigerian, I swear to Almighty God, may, thunder the, may God punish you, punish your generation forever and ever because you are evil. Only an evil person can support a country where a little girl, a virgin, was abducted from her school, held in captivity for over three years. Rape after rape. Now she has a second child. And you people are not even ashamed of yourselves to be reporting it. She has her second child in captivity. Very flippantly, very dismissively. You people are evil. Do you see why God condemned black people because you are evil? You are evil. You are satanic. There is something satanic inside you as a black person. No wonder the white man painted the devil black. You people are wicked beyond human reasoning. Because she is not a Muslim. The stupid Pope, Roman Catholic Pope, that idiot, I don't know what he, where he comes from. Cannot talk about Leah Shoaib. But he was busy praying 
and campaigning for Rohingya Muslims to get justice. Those fools in Canterbury, that idiot, Archbishop of Canterbury, those fools there that you contribute your money every Sunday and send to. Yes, Waibu is a Christian. They cannot speak because Muslim interests hasn't been threatened. The whole world is there. The American ambassador is in Abuja, a woman. I don't think she has any children because you cannot tell me that people that wield such influence, that has such clout, will keep quiet and a little girl. But they can find American soldiers who, are, who were kidnapped or Amer American aid workers. They can send Delta Force to release them, but you cannot send Delta Force. The U.S. ambassador, a woman, cannot write to her government to say, we need to free this little girl. She has done nothing wrong. A very brave girl. She said, I will not renounce Christianity to my faith. Because of that, she's being raped by Muslim Islamic terrorists. And people are reporting the news as if it is just a joke. Liash Weibu now has second child. If God does not destroy Nigeria beyond recognition, I will stop believing in God. I'm saying it tonight. What I'm saying is, is terrible, it is awful, but I'm telling you the truth. Nigeria is the creation of Satan for the habitation of evil people. The highest concentration of Satan, the highest concentration of the most wicked people on the face of the earth are Nigerians. They are in Nigeria. They are in Nigeria. Some of you, when your stupid baby Nigeria will come, you watch it. I just sometimes when I when I look at these people, I, I I say to myself, why did God even bother creating these people? God shouldn't have created black people. I think it was a waste of time. A people without conscience, you have no conscience. Nobody is saying, how about if this little girl is my daughter? Nobody is thinking, how are the parents feeling? No. So you're telling me, one Nigeria, let's work for our unity every day. Unity. It was the same one Nigeria that put Leah Shuaibu where she is. Without your stupid, idiotic one Nigeria, what happened to her could not have happened to her. You ask me why, and I will tell you. Because had Nigeria been divided, or uh, there was um, this kind of understanding that independent ethnic groups should coalesce, to form whatever federation or nation that they like. What right does a Fulani Janjaweed from Senegambia to come all the way to Yoba State and by the federal government of Nigeria, yes, they said it with their open mouth, they said it themselves, the guns given to them by the Nigerian government to come and kidnap a Christian girl, to hold her in captivity, raping her every blessed day. Now she has given birth to a second baby, to a terrorist, basically. Had Nigeria not been one, do you think, it's a very simple question. Do you think anybody who have their, any idiot, who full an idiot can come from Mali to come to your village, your forest, to stay in your forest, telling you what to do? You have me yet, Yala, a terrorist group running the country? It's a simple question. I want it, I want those fools, both those who are illiterate and those that claim that they are academics. I want them to reason for once because they are foolish. That's why they don't have no electricity. They have no good roads. They have no hospitals. Every day they lament. They lament. All they do is they lament. Do something to get yourself out of the mess you're in. You cannot. You have a, a bunch of uh, idiots with decorated uh, fingernails every day. This is felony. On a rise news. One idiot. Or a couple of them. This is everything is still felony. Well, how do you classify or quantify the crime against Leah Shwaibu and Christianity at large in Nigeria? That is why this evening I am calling for the disbandment of Christian Association of Nigeria. It shouldn't exist. 
It should not exist. It has no role. It has no purpose. It has no meaning. Can Christian Association of Nigeria should be abolished? And I would not have Christian Association of Nigeria hold any meeting anywhere in the East. They cannot hold and from what we have done to Hanese, we are going to do to Khan because of this little girl. Leah Shwaibu. Leah Shwaibu is the, is the personification of everything wrong with Nigeria and Christian Association of Nigeria. You can go to your churches and pray, do whatever you like in your churches, that's fine. But you cannot gather under the umbrella of Christian Association of Nigeria anywhere in the East. Try it and see what will happen to you. You people are fools. You put, your foolishness is beyond foolishness. You claim your priest, the man of God. You people are you are leeches, you are criminals, and God will punish one of you. You are criminals. Do you think that if you're holding a Muslim Fulani girl, a virgin, anywhere in the south, be it in Yoruba land or in Biafra land, seriously speaking, do you think the imams in the north will keep quiet? Even the imams in Niger Republic will complain. Those in Sudan will complain. You have pastors running up and down with their private jets telling you, so see the plant of uh, plant flower, do this water, it's all you idiots. Idiotically, you are following people who are blind and foolish. And above all, that has no conscience. No conscience whatsoever. I don't want to hear about can meeting anywhere in the East. That useless, idiotic Christian society. Rubbish. As useless as Nigeria itself. Look at Leah Schwebel. What did she do wrong? Her only crime is to profess her faith. Britain is there, America is there. They know where they're holding her. The world cannot say this girl has suffered enough. Let's go and rescue her. Because we are living in a very evil and wicked world. We are money rules. Fulani has all the money in the world. They have stolen all the money in the zoo. That is why even more idiotic are those calling themselves Niger Deltans, one of the most foolish people ever on the face of this earth as well. That oil that belongs to all of us, our oil and gas, because of your stupidity, the Fulani took it. And you're still living in that stupidity like we get in tomorrow morning. That is where they made all their money. They can bribe Google to put up bad news about uh, Namde Khan or IPOB or Biafra. They go to America, they buy over the whole of Capitol Hill in America, identify corrupt US politicians and give them money. And when we talk about the pain and suffering of the likes of Leah Shwaibu, they say it happens everywhere. They go to Britain and the EU, they buy them over. Their war chest is now 34 billion US dollars. 34 billion that they are willing to spend. Is the world going to listen to somebody with 34 billion or somebody who has nothing? Look at Bill Gates, for instance. He can do whatever he likes and get away with it. Look at this idiot, Zuckerberger, whatever they call the idiot. Look at him. They have money. They can do whatever they like. They can give you culture, uh, a virus in a lab in Wuhan, in China, and give it to you. And still sell the vaccine to you because they have money. I'm asking you, who do you think the world will? I want all these idiots, Niger Delta, and from South South. I want you to, in your foolishness, to understand what you're doing to yourself. All oh, because of your bickering. Uh, I'm this, I'm separate. Fulan is taking all the oil. They can kidnap Leash, right? They can get her pregnant. It's nobody's business. They buy over the whole world. Nobody will talk. They have the money. Britain will just say to them, oh, these are the guys with the money, these idiots from the north, they're the ones with the money, and uh, they go to them. And that's what is happening to you today, isn't it, in the zoo? That is why Leah Shwaibu is there. They're holding her. She has given birth to her second child. A world without conscience. Human race right now is just not fit for purpose. Not fit for purpose. All that uh, people are concerned about is that let us legalize gay marriage. Let us, um, how can I put it, let uh, Islam continue to advance unchecked. That's all that concerns The life of this little girl that is innocent. 
They said it was a virgin that gave birth to Jesus. This girl was a virgin. Destroyed. Completely destroyed. And every Sunday, every Saturday we go to temple, to the synagogue to pray. Every Sunday we go to the church to pray. Some of you in the Islamic faith with conscience, every Friday you go to pray. How many of you remember this girl? This girl is like you. The same way that terrorists are holding her hostages, how full and caliphate is holding all of you hostage. You are like Leah Shwaibu. The world can see what is happening to you as an average Nigerian. You have no hope, you have no future. Everywhere you go to, if you're if you're if you're a high-ranking officer in any parastatal, they remove you, they put full and there. The beautiful and idea. All of you are that are looking sheepishly talking about the every blessed day. From Nigeria, from South South, our oil, our gas, all these idiots everywhere. Fulani have done their homework. And you're dancing to their tune. You're like, every Nigerian is like Leah Schwebel. All of you, you are being held hostage. The world can see that you are no longer in control of your future. But there is nothing you can do about it. Are you telling me, tell me where else in the world that this will happen? CNN will have it on their front page every day. Ask yourself, why are the likes of CNN, CNBC, Fox News are not carrying it? Because they have taken money from Fulani. They know how to share money very well. And you're telling me that this world is fair. You are telling me, can you even imagine what the parents are going through? Some of you with children, if you have a little girl, go back to your bedroom. I'm sure some of them are sleeping. Look at that, your little girl. Imagine that some boy invades your home and takes the little girl away from you. In the next three years, you hear that your daughter, your your 14 year old daughter, now has two kids. Not by high choice. How how would you feel as a father and as a mother? That is how the parents of this girl is feeling this evening. Spare the thought for them. All of you sh shouting one Nigeria, one Nigeria, one Nigeria, one Nigeria. Have you seen the mess you put this girl in? Because the more you continue to talk about one Nigeria, the more the full and the terrorists will come. They're never going to stop. Do you think they're stupid? Every head of security is them. Are you foolish? Majority of police commissioners are them. Are you daft? They control customs. They even control fire service, civil defense. Are you? I, sometimes I wonder the type of school some of you went to. Are you that foolish? You were there when Onogen was removed. I didn't hear anybody shouting in Niger Delta or South South. He's our man. Nobody. Every person who says that he is a Nigerian, believe you me. In fact, no idiot. I have never seen anybody. When I was in the US, I was saying, when I see somebody, I'm from Odudu, I'm Yoruba. Nobody said I'm in Nigeria. Nobody, not a single soul. I travel extensively all over the world. I have never met anybody say, oh, where are you from? They say I'm in Nigeria. Never. They tell you the ethnicity, where they come from. As God intended. They are busy convening the convener of the US Nigeria law group. In a country where there is no law, you have lawyers. <laughs> Isn't that a shame? In a place where there is no law. Are you telling me that should CIA or MI5 or MI6 put their mind to it, they cannot tell you where Leah is? Is that what you're telling me? Where you've managed to find an American hostage, oh, they cannot find where Leah Shwebu is. And Leah Shwebu is being held by people who come out openly to say that they own Nigeria. They, you, you, even today, I'm, I'm coming to the news. Miyatiala said, yes, we are the bandits. <laughs> but a chief of army staff cannot go after them. Oh, no, they, oh, no, they want to come to the south to look for Namdekan, oh, Sondi Buho, and whoever they said they want to look for. And all of you, you read the paper like a bunch of clowns and idiots. None of you will ask yourself this question. Why don't you go after those holding Leah Shwaibu? Why don't you go after them? All of you, are, you see, I think that Nigeria has a way of turning some of you into, into uh, not has a way, has turned all of you.
into uh, both those that with Nobel Prize oh, and those who oh, professor everybody is a fool in Nigeria. He's a complete idiot in Nigeria. Complete fool in Nigeria. Look at Leah Schwab. Can this nonsense happen elsewhere in the world? I'm asking you. Can this rubbish happen elsewhere in the world? Every Sunday you go to Catholic Church, you contribute money, you give to the Pope. You go to Anglican Church, you donate money, you give to Archbishop of Canterbury. You go, you give Methodist Church, they send it to heaven knows where. Baptist Church, God knows where they send it to. But the cost goes to the pocket of the of the idiot standing in front of you. Shouting God, Jesus, God, Jesus. Leah Shwaibu, where is she? She is in she is in captivity because of her faith. What have you done? Nothing. Has there been any protest for her? All these bishops, all these uh, men of men of Satan, monk, where are they? Can do nothing. All they all they want is money. Using the word of God to deceive the idiots and the gullible. All of you are there in the zoo answering Nigerians. When I, I don't want, I hate you people with them. I don't want to see you. You're a fool. You're a, you are, you are a creation of Lugard and, and, and um, what's her name? Shaw. What's her name again? Uh, Flora Shaw. You are the creation of your fellow human being. I feel sorry for you people. Animals in the zoo. Zoological Republic, people without shame nor honor. Where is Gobon? I'm heading a prayer group. I'm just running a back that looks like a calibus monkey. He's busy telling you I'm a reconciliation of Luke. Reconcile what? So Florida can take my land. So he can conquer me? Can you your one Nigeria? That's the only purpose that Nigeria serves. Is to head. You know, it's like, uh, have you seen where those, they call them the shepherd dogs, where they're heading sheep into a pen or into a circle? Go and Google it. I used to watch it on BBC on Country Life program. They train the dogs to be shepherding the sheep. Only one dog will be heading a whole sheep up, up to up to fifty until they get them into the pen and they lock it. The more you shout one Nigeria, you're like a sheep being headed by a shepherd dog. For them to kill you, you have to be in one Nigeria. For Fulani to take your land, you have to be in one Nigeria. For Fulani to destroy your future and your hope, you have to be. In, you why don't you understand it? It's like uh, putting people into a stadium and then bombing that very place. There's oh, come into the stadium, come in, come in, come in. Nigeria is like a stadium of death. They are heading you into one place to destroy you because if there is Biafra, Fulani cannot come. Without visa, if you do the one, they cannot come. Have you ever wondered? Our mothers are crying in Iguacha in LMA. In LMA, crying. Fulani are everywhere. And I'm asking you if you had Biafra, people are crying in Bayasa. Oh, we are, we are dying. Oh, they're killing us. And this question is simple. If you had a Biafra, can Fulani be in your forest? I, they can never answer that question because most of them are Nigerians, foolish by nature. 